Well, did you get a chance to see the northern lights this weekend? Wildfire smoke may have made it a bit hard or impossible in some areas to see, but some people got very lucky. Thank you to viewers Connie Morgan and Custer near the British Columbia border and Blaine Deaton in Granite Falls for sharing these lovely photos with us. Look at that pink sky. You can always share yours too by texting us at 206-448-4545. So Rich, you did an entire st story and series about this. The Space Weather Prediction Center says the solar cycle has been more active lately. So I'm, I'm still glad that some of us can still maybe catch a glimpse of this. Oh, this Still, I, the sun has been eject, you know, the coronal mass ejections, those masses of plasma and magnetic field that ram into our uh, magnetosphere. There's been a whole series of them over the last few days. In fact, yesterday evening, about 5:30, I got a notice that it was a strong mag geomagnetic storm because one was arriving. It led up probably around 11 o'clock midnight last night, and then it's kind of a background storm right now. You see our forecast for tonight. We're kind of out of the aurora. It, it, the red line is actually the absolute min you know, maximum south that you can see it, and just barely cuts through Washington. So not really good viewing tonight for the aurora. It doesn't look like, but they get surprised sometimes, and not quite as, and even less so for tomorrow night based on these CMEs that are headed towards Earth. But the Perseid meteor shower is going right now, too. It just peaked this morning. It looks going to be good for a few more days. So if you do get any clearing this evening, not a bad idea to go out and spend a little time looking at the sky.